This is Erica Gilsdorf. She's an underdog for the environment, a doer of good, a storyteller on the road across America. This is where she lives. This is what she drives. For the next 365 days, Erica will travel the country living life untethered, visiting with people who challenge the status quo and drive the change that will make our planet a better place. People like the ones you're about to meet. This is Soul Pursuits. Today, Erica is meeting up with photographer Dylan Gordon. After a series of devastating Southern California wildfires in 2017, Dylan and some friends co-founded Help California to get boots on the ground and some much needed assistance for his community. This is a story about neighbors helping neighbors. For most of my life, living on the central coast of California, it's always been kind of a slower pace. We had a horse ranch that, you know, our family, we basically had a boarding facility and I grew up building fences and feeding horses and that always has been a consistent in my life of just knowing how to work hard. California is an interesting place. We have a really cool ecosystem, but we have no water. When any of these incidents came about, you just learn how to recover and you learn how to rebuild. And at the end of the day, it's, you just want to stay on, on your feet. Where'd you get this spaceship? Isn't this cool? <laughs> It's my tiny house. It's You're active. Dylan. Hi, nice Hi, to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Normally I'm on the road a little bit more, but I've been here a fair bit. And you got cowboy hats to surfboards to photography. Yeah. Can we see the trailer? Yes, of course. I designed this for this car. It's an electric road trip, so yeah. it's it's uh, gas That's and electric. That electric can pull. And it can tow. The like, amount of space you have is sweet. I know, so that the bed could go this way, because if it went this way, it would take up all my space. <laughs> yeah, I think tomorrow, essentially, we're just going to go and meet one of the families that we helped during all the fires. And it's a property that got flattened to the ground. And, you know, maybe she can give you a little bit of insight on what, as Help California, we were able to contribute. Both of my parents have always been really involved in horses and animals and it's just kind of in my blood. Our ranch is about 20 acres located up in the hills. We're not on the beach with the movie stars. We like to call ourselves real Malibu hillbillies. My mom and grandma own the ranch and it's been in our family probably for about 32 years. I made it. Oh man, look at this canyon. Pretty cool How's here. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, meet my friend Scarlett. Oh, hey Scarlett. Hi Erica. Hi, nice Hi, to meet Sarah. you. Nice to meet you, welcome. Crazy to see it now, it's actually regrowing and looking good. Two years ago, this was just thick shrubbery. We should take a walk down through this little alley as well. And yeah. you'll see all the burnt oaks and all that I jazz. Saw that, I saw that pulling up here. So in November of 2018, the Woolsey Fire started in Simi Valley, California. 
and did eventually make its way to Malibu and all the way to the ocean. And unfortunately, our property was hit very hard by it. Everything was completely lost. And as much as I thought we were prepared and ready, when the time came, it was literally running for our lives and trying to save our animals. These were hundreds of year old oak trees that just engulfed the whole thing. We called it like the mystical hollow because it was just like a tree tunnel. The whole community was, you know, affected in one way or another. So we were helping ranches in different ways. You know, some folks needed fences, some folks needed clothes on their back. But for the most part, helping just rebuild any of the infrastructure was what I found to be kind of most impactful. Help California derived from the fact it's neighbors helping neighbors. That's the only point. And with any of these incidents, our priority was like, get these guys back on their feet. Then what can we do? Do what we know. Rebuild and do what you can. It didn't matter how big or small. It was awesome and an honor to meet Dylan. He's just an inspiring guy, and that's what this road trip is about, meeting inspiring people. And I think when you get to see people and know them, it's just so much fun to really learn how different people are motivated to make change in the world. I can't predict what the future of Help California will be but I do hope that we can carry on that same mentality of inspiring other folks to help each other. That is what's cool about it. It's not that hard to go help your neighbor and just go next door. <laughs>